Hi, Andrew here. I'm Blue Falcon on ARFCOM, and what we're going to do today is something a little out of the ordinary. Uh, if you've been following my work on the chopping block, or William at the Wound Channel, or Matt at Buffman Range, you've seen that M855A1 is capable of some really remarkable stuff. This is the holy grail of ammunition that the 556 needs to be. Honestly, I mean, I know I'm waxing rather hyperbolic, but <laughs> M855A1, by all appearances, appears to be the pinnacle of 556 ammunition development. It can punch through virtually <laughs> any steel body armor that I've seen it tested against, even at some relatively low velocities. I was even able to punch it through level three steel armor from an 11 and a half inch barrel. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. And it comes apart like a bomb. It is both very penetrative. Uh, both William and Matt at Wound Channel and Buffman, they have shot it through cinder blocks and uh, armor and all sorts of stuff. It just punches right through. Then on top of that, it does really good in tissue. You can't ask for much more. But we're a bit curious how far out it can continue to fragment like a boss. So as a first step toward finding the fragmentation threshold for this ammunition, I pulled some bullets and reloaded them using 21.5 grains of RL-15. And I fired it from a 14 and a half inch, one and seven twist M4-ish rifle. Let's head out to the range and take a look. Two, four, three, six. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see this on video, but the track continued all the way through both blocks. There was definitely some fragmentation. You can see the jacket coming off there, and if the jacket came off, then the core and the penetrator almost certainly separated from each other. Looks just like another test, like there's... I just noticed this. What are the odds of that? There's the core. <laughs> just sitting there. The core just barely came out the block. Well, I won't know until I get home, but the penetrator might be in there somewhere. But as in other tests, the neck was like half an inch, maybe an inch. Some fragments here, here. The temporary cavity is probably about eight inches long by oh, two and a half inches wide. <laughs> All right, that's pretty impressive. Uh, to put that in perspective, that velocity is approximately equivalent to what you would see with normal factory ammunition at 215 meters from a 14 and a half inch barrel or 265 meters from a 20 inch barrel, give or take. It still fragmented perfectly, had great deep penetration. Uh, bear in mind that in a military ac application, there really isn't such a thing as too much penetration. This did really well. Um, and how about, <laughs> how about that core just pooping out the back end of the last block there? What are the odds of it hitting 
exactly just the perfect velocity that it was able to come out but not off of the table because if it didn't hit the table I would have considered it lost. Makes me kind of wonder how many bullets landed within 10 or 20 feet of the end of my table and all my other tests. Overall this did really outstanding. Now is this the the limit? No of course not. Not even close. I would expect that it could frag at substantially lower velocity so I will continue testing. This was just a sort of baseline to kind of get an idea of where we can go from here and it looks like that limit is going to be much lower considering <laughs> how it still went off like a boss. If you have any questions or if you think I got something wrong definitely leave a comment below. As always have a great day.